All right, good morning and welcome to your sequencer, online sequencer uh, walkthrough here for uh, Ban Bingo Week 3. Uh, I'm just going to show off a couple things uh, with this website just to kind of get you started off on the right foot um, so you basically know what you're doing going into um, – you know, trying this out for the first time. It's kind of a cool tool. Um, I mean, you're going to see me looking this way a lot. Sorry, because my monitor with it is over here. Um, so forgive me, but I didn't want to turn the webcam off right now. I'm actually doing a live stream on YouTube while I'm doing this. So we're like six levels deep in Inception right now. Um, so Online Sequencer is kind of a neat thing. Um, the basic way to interact with the sequencer is just to drag or click and then drag. Um, so you can put notes down where you want them. You can add notes, um, you can delete notes if I just like highlight them and press delete in the keyboard. Um, let's start with something easy like C. Um, you can make notes last longer by putting them down and then clicking and dragging. So now we get one whole beat of C. If you ever want to hear your recording, that play button right there is your best friend. And now that C lasts for a full beat instead of being really short. Now, granted, it's all going to sound kind of like the same length because it's a piano. It's meant to be hit once anyway. Um, if I change my instrument, though, right here, and let's change over to something a little bit more like windy. Let's go flute. Now it should sound more like a... Oh! Well, let's change that. Got to put down a new sound now, the flute sound. Do, do, do. Make this one longer. Let's see what that sounds like. So now it has a little bit more sustained, longer notes. So again, drag and, or click and drag rather to make notes longer. Um, you can make them as long as you would like. Uh, you know, your goal for this assignment is a four bar loop, right? So bar one, bar two, bar three, and bar four. So you basically want to use like one screen, right? Up through four. Each grid, right? Each kind of thicker grid is like four sub beats that make up one beat. So a beat of flute is actually, let's just do this. This is one beat, right? Oh, why did that do that? Hmm. The struggle is real. There we go. So we'll make that four. So this now is one beat of flute. Right, if I want to add a second beat, two beats of flute, three beats of flute, four beats of flute. Got to be real careful when you're dragging here. It's going to not be happy with you. Great, so now I've got basically what amounts to four quarter notes. Right, and if you want, obviously we can change notes here. So I put it up higher, we get higher flute sound. If you want to create um, copy, right, copy paste is a thing we can do on computers. Control C still works. And then hit Control V to paste, and then you can just drag it off it. Control V again, you can drag it off it. Control V again, you can drag it off it. So you do have copy paste functionality. You can copy as much or as little as you want. So if I want to take this and Oop. Control Z also undo, same as anything else. So now I have all my notes I've made so far um, selected. Uh, you shift click to select multiples, same as you know anything else y'all are doing on computers. Control C again, Control V again, now I can drag a whole second set over. So now I basically got four beats, right? So you can save yourself a little bit of trouble. Um, if you kind of make like at least like a skeleton outline of like a drum pattern, right? You can just copy paste it and move it over. Um, if I hit play. So kind of a cool thing and that, that gets me four beats. It is gonna loop, right? If you let it uh, just keep playing, it's gonna hit those four lines. It's gonna restart again, which is a pretty common thing that these sequencers do. Um, so for your assignment, it wants it to be like a melodic track, like flute. And again, I wouldn't, like this would be like a cool like bass part. This isn't like a cool flute part, uh, but it want, you wanna have like a, a bass instrument, like an electric bass, for example. Right, so if we go down, or up here, I guess, rather, we can find bass, or you can do slap bass, or you can do anything else. I would probably just do, like, bass, right? It's, it's a little bit more consistent sounding. And, hey, let's move down here to the basement. Hey, right on. Let's go ahead, actually, and let's see if I do this. Let's go ahead and take that same part we just did a minute ago with the flute, and we'll put it down here in bass land. change it a little bit here get some 
some sweet walking bass lines going. Oh, I kind of missed the last set, didn't I? Let's move you up here. Hooray. Got some sweet cowboy songs working here. But I mean, something even as simple as that, right? Pick, pick two notes, right? Pick a note, pick two notes, do it, you know, long patterns. You don't have to be real fancy with this. I'm not looking for perfection or like the next great American song, but it is kind of a cool thing to, to play around with a little bit here. Let's just kind of go ahead and get rid of this now. All right, next thing. So we got a bass line that's cool. Let's add a drum kit, because why not? Now, basically with the drum kit, everything you see over here is now going to become... Uh, drum sounds, not uh, instrument sounds, right? Not like melodic sounds. Fun. So, um, I, you know, uh, I, the basic, uh, the basic set you want to think about, um, you know, things like kick drum, that will get you, um, you know, a kick drum sound. That's that real like kind of heavy. Oops, sorry. Kind of thumpy bass sound the drum set makes, right? So if you want to start off with something easy, hey, put a quarter note down for each of the four bars, and now we get this bass part with a kick drum working, right? Cool. And then let's say snare is pretty obvious, right? Just add some random snares. See what happens. Cool, and that's 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 kind of a jam, right? So we're gonna have that be a thing. We can go ahead and shift click all those. Let's control C that. We'll copy it. Let's get get rid of this, and then we'll hit V, and then we can just drag it over. We can just drag it over, and we can just drag it over. Boom. Now we hit play. So not too hard to get started, right? That's just an easy, like, walking baseline back and forth kind of thing. And it, we added some snare. We added a kick drum on one, right? Um, if we want to add something, like I said now, so, again, the assignment says, hey, do a drum kit or do, like, some kind of drum set, some kind of percussion sound. Hey, do a bass voice like bass or slap bass and then let's do something um you know melodic now let's do uh let's do violin that's a little bit different than we normally hear right Ooh, so that's kind of fun um and again i wouldn't go crazy here like quarter notes is for these little bricks i don't you don't have to sit there and just do like a bunch of garbage in fact i would probably avoid garbage it's gonna sound like garbage I'll tell you, the the first measure sounds a lot cooler than I thought it would. Like the rest of it, like from from here on, sounds like you know duty. But the first little bit was pretty was pretty okay. Um, so let's for funsies, let's leave that first little bit, and then we're just gonna delete everything from here on. And there's probably a way to so this is select all. I don't want that. There's probably a way to like kind of like click and drag and select, but I have no idea how to do it. So if someone figures out, it's maybe like a control click or something, or shift click. Nope. Because now, deleting this, I'm having to select each one individually and then press delete. So I wouldn't just go and start putting down random noises and then start guessing. Because then you're going to have a lot more work to get rid of it than you want. We'll just kind of put some... basic notes here the good thing is now if you write in the key of c don't forget the key of c has no flats and no sharps so if you want it to kind of like hey i want this to sound good right and not have a bunch of like weird chromatic like wrong notes um if you write in the key of c and stick only the white keys right like a b c d e f g not like sharp f sharp e flat you know uh, c sharp if you avoid those well now it's going to probably sound a lot better I, I added a couple of those you know i added a couple like here there's a d sharp right same as e flat there's a couple chromatic notes we'll see how those sound um but yeah we're going to kind of see what happens here i only need about 
two more bars. We'll add a couple passing tone, little fun things here. And of course, we want to start on C. We're going to also end on C. And this may sound like hot garbage, but that's okay, because we're just testing the waters here. So it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a cool jam. Um, the, the the trick is I I really thought the violin sound would sustain more through these longer notes, and it sure doesn't. Um, so I have no idea um, like how to necessarily make the violin sound last longer. I just started playing this a little bit on Friday on stream. Um, so you know if you want to you know have notes actually be sustained, uh, you know probably trombone, French horn, flute. I don't know why the violin is just like a, a straight like. Uh, basically like one hit right like one pull and then it stops like it's not it's not a sustained like draw kind of sound um, but hey it's it's free I do what you can um, if it doesn't match up with what you want it to sound like then hey try some different sounds out till it starts to sound better um, but yeah if you end up like you know hey today sit down want to play with this a little bit if you have three voices right melodic voice like violin you have your bass voice and then you have how did you get down here why are why are you the violin color um, you add in like your, um, you know, your, your drums, like I did kick and snare. You can add cymbals if you want to, too. Um, you can add whatever. You got a whole heap of options here in the drum kit land as far as what you want, right? So you got a whole bunch of stuff, uh, to mess around with there, add what you want. And then you also want to have like a bass voice, right? Like a walking bass voice. Okay, again, I did C and G. It's a good idea. C and G is the 1 and the 5 of the scale. If you stick to 1, 5, and also 4, so concert F, C, F, and G, usually you can kind of have a pretty good walking bass on and have it not sound wrong. Even though you don't really know what you're writing or why you're writing it that way, it, it kind of is what bass parts do. It, they outline, like, the, the chords that, you know, the, the upper groups uh, play within, right? The melody plays with these certain, you know, notes in mind based on what chord the bass line is playing. So if we stick to 1, 4, and 5, most notes you then write up in, like, the flute area like a b c d e f g if you're in the key of c those are mostly going to sound like right notes it won't sound like you're just like playing a bunch of like cat hissing and dog barking noises over you know a, 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 a drum or over a, a bass so um that's your like brief tutorial here with how this works um by all means play around have a good time with it again your play button is here top left right um other things that you may oh there's a race button oh okay so that, that may save you some time okay so a race will help you get rid of um stuff a little bit faster so yeah play with some of these little different options and tools up here um copy again cut and paste through your friend but control c control v work if you want to zoom in you can zoom in to submit it to me most important thing it's really easy all you do is hit save and you can just hit save a copy and what that should do is then give you a link that pops up right here and there is the link to the sequence so if you then click on that it will pull up what you made right so now i'm here here's what i made if you go up to your like address bar and then copy that and submit that because basically for the sequencer assignment i made it be a um like it, it only accepts a submission of a web link so if you just copy paste from there into canvas for the uh for the um you know, the sequencer submission, it will then give me this code, right, this web address, I will go here, listen to your masterpiece, and then give you your 20 point credit for it. Okay, so that's how we save it and export. We'll do that one more time. So again, to submit to me, hit save, you can hit just save a copy. And that gets you the link to submit to me through canvas. Uh, you can, you know, save it locally in your phone, don't play with export MIDI, it, 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 it don't worry about it. Um, but I would go ahead and uh, save local file to your computer if you want to keep a copy of this. I don't know how it does it, if it just comes through as like a MIDI file or like a .wav file. Um, but if you want to save a copy and then get that you know, link, if you want to come back and keep working on it, you probably can straight from here. You would just enter edit mode, right? So it's playing right now. If I want to, hey, I, I saved it. I want to come back and work on it tomorrow. We'll just keep that web link. You can go back into edit mode and you can add a bunch more stuff to it, right? Again, I would avoid just putting garbage on there. But hey, we edited it. Great, we added more stuff to it. Okay, now I'm ready to submit it. All right, save again. There's a new link. It opens back up. 
with your edits involved, okay? So kind of a cool thing. I um, hope this is helpful if you're looking for an easy kind of thing to mess around with this week um, without needing your, you know, uh, instrument out. Uh, kind of a cool thing to look at. So onlinesequencer.net. Uh, good luck. Look forward to hearing y'all's recordings.